want you to look at this real quick. These are these. This is how we. This is how the prison houses used to look. We was in what chains when we went into slavery. See down on the bottom. See those chains on our neck. This is how the prison houses used to look. Now the prison houses look like 26 of California. That's a prophecy. Read that for me real quick. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 22. Uh -huh. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. So we are robbed of who we are. I just asked you who you are. You said me. I asked a brother earlier. He told me his, he, he's black. The same color of my pants and boots. But we, you can't get on an airplane and go anywhere called the land of black. You can't go anywhere on this earth called me. Read it again. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. We are people that is robbed and destroyed. That's what spoil is going into. Because you won't drink spoiled milk, would you? It's wasted. It's destroyed. This is a people robbed and spoiled. Read on. They are all of them snared in holes. We're snared in holes. What, what are those snares? The snares are traps. We're trapped in holes. Meaning what? We don't get good jobs because we got a poor educational system. So now what? We go out and rob and steal. We sell drugs to one another. So now we're in this rat race. Going back and forth to the penitentiary. Going back and forth to what? Public aid. Going into public housing. That really isn't there to help us to succeed, but it's to keep us there in that hole. We don't. And they are all of them hid in prison houses. All of us are hid in prison houses, sis. The Cook County Jail is filled up with our people. All the prison houses, it's more, it's more of our people in prisons than, than in college. This is a prophecy. We started here, now today is the prison house. Even right now, even in your neighborhood, it's, it's still like a prison for the most part. Because a lot of our people are trapped in prisons in their mind. So, let me show you that you are an Israelite, right? Give me Deuteronomy 28. Let me show you that you're really an Israelite. You're from the tribe of Judah. You're a princess. You're one of God's precious jewels on earth. And I'm going to prove it to you. Read on. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass that thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So remember I said that, look, God, he has house rules. And there was house rules. If you don't listen to him, some bad things are going to happen to you. You're going to be punished. Read on. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So these statutes these laws, these are his rules. We don't. That all these curses, that's these bad things, the punishments, all these curses, we don't. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That over thee is the whole, your whole nation, all of your people. The sisters that look like you, that wanted to fight you growing up, it's going on them too. The people you watch on the news is getting shot down on the streets. When we get choked out by the police and nothing happens for them, they get away with it. Those are the curses, the bad things, the punishments that happen to us. This is the proof that we are the, ch the children of Israel. Give me verse 48. Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. Now remember, we went, we the chains that went on our necks. That was prophesied in the Bible. That's why we have these images to show you. The prison houses. Read on. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. What's your last name, Brittany? Robinson, did you know that that's the last name of your slave master that he gave to your people? It is. That's a, that's a form of serving your enemy. Do you own, like, land or anything like that? Do you own the water? Do you own... Do, how, how, where do you get your clothes from? Who? China? But do you make it? Do you own it? You're going to serve your enemies. And the Bible's going to prove that you serve your enemies for food, water, and clothing. When you need toilet paper, where do you go? When you need a driver's license, where do you go? You go to your enemy for that. Read. It's going to show you. Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemies. You're going to serve your enemies, Brittany. Read. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. And the Lord is going to sin them against you. Why? Because you disobeyed his rules to his house. Now he's punishing you. Read on. In hunger. In hunger means you got to go to them for food. Who do you got to go to your food? Who do you got to go to for food? The Bible says your enemies. If you go to this restaurant right across the street, guess what? If it's owned by a so-called white man, if it's owned by a so-called Islam or Arab, those are your enemies. Chinese, the ones who did this to us. They still got us in their prison houses. 
Because the system is a prison house itself. We don't. And in thirst. Uh huh. And in nakedness. So when you want water, when you want clothing, you gotta go to what? Your enemies for that. We don't. And in want of all things. For anything. If you want education, you gotta go to your enemies. Like I said, if you want a birth certificate. If you lose your ID, you have to go get another. You have to go to the DMV, which is owned by your enemies. If you want an education, you have to go to what? A school or a college that is owned by your enemies. This is the proof to you that this Bible is telling, talking about you, your forefathers, your foremothers. So they wait. Now you can know that you're not just me. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Read on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Okay, Brent. Look. These are yokes of irons on our neck. See that? That he was the so-called white man. The Asian man. The so-called Arab man. The real Africans put yokes of iron on our neck. And those yokes of iron came off our neck once our minds were destroyed. The Bible's going to say it. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he had destroyed thee. Until he had destroyed thee, sis. So now, sis, let me give you something that God told you that you should do. Right? How old are you? If you don't mind me asking. 23? Okay. Go to Titus 2. Let me show you what God showed wants a young 23-year-old Brittany to do. All right? Give me that. Titus chapter 2, verse 3. Uh -huh. that, that age woman likewise, that they be in behavior. So God wants the women to be, to have a behavior about themselves. But what type of behavior? Read on. As becoming holiness. To be holy. What does holy mean, sis? Here? Okay, let's show you. Read. Hold on. Give me holy real quick. Give me that. Let me show you what holy is, sis. Because remember, why do we get yokes of iron on our neck? For being disobedient to what? To the rules that God has in his house, right? Did you always keep the rules that your mother and father had for you in the house? You broke them and what did they do? They punish you, right? It's the same thing with God. So now God has given you a rule to keep. He's told you what? To have a behavior of being holy. So now I'm about to show you what holy means. Read. Romans chapter 7 verse 12. Uh -huh. Wherefore the law is holy. The law is holy. And, so, the, and the commandment is what? And the commandment holy. Uh -huh. And just and good. So keeping the laws is what's holy. So you have to have a behavior of keeping God's rules. Read on. Go back to Titus. Titus chapter 2 verse 3. Uh -huh. The aged woman likewise. Uh -huh. That they be in behavior as becoming holiness. Uh -huh. Not false accusers. Not false accusers. You know what that's going into? That's going into lying. A lot of our sisters like to lie. They lie about some of the most pettiest things. Some things that, that, that have sent a brother into prison for a very long time. Titus 2 verse 3. You know what I'm saying? Keep, keep reading. Not false accusers. Uh -huh. Not giving too much wine. Some of our sisters drink too much. They get turned up way too much. Drink all sorts of liquor. And some will drink Hennessy, Patron, uh, beers, all in one setting. That's over excessive drinking. You're not supposed to give yourself over to much wine. Read it from the top. Verse 3. The age woman likewise, uh -huh. that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. Read. Not false accusers. Not liars. Not giving too much wine. Not alcoholics. Teachers of Teachers of good things. We just read in Romans that what the laws is what's holy and what's good. Those are the good things you're supposed to be teaching. You got little sisters, cousins, or something? You're supposed to be an example to them. Let me give you a law that you're supposed to keep. Give me Deuteronomy 22. Let me give you a simple law. Real quick. Just one law that you can keep today. It's not hard. Alright? The book of Deuteronomy here, bro. chapter 22. Come here. Come here. supposed to wear, meaning wear the same clothes that belong to a man. What are clothes that belong to a man? Think about it. So if you was to go into a bathroom, right, it doesn't say women and men, but it just has a symbol on that. How would you know if it was the bathroom for a woman? It'd have a silhouette of a woman with a dress on. Just like for the men, it will have a silhouette of a man with pants on. You follow me? 
So a woman is not supposed to wear what belongs to a man. What belongs to a man is pants. What belongs to a woman is a dress. So this is a law or a rule that God gave what? A woman. Can you keep this law, Brittany? Yeah, you can try. That's what keeping God's laws, bro. That's called repentance. That's what. Now you could be an example to the other sisters in your community. Help get them to change. Because when God sees you with pants on, he, he feels a certain way about that. He really don't like it. I'm going to show it to you. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment uh -huh. for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. The word abomination means disgusting. So when God sees his daughter, his princess, wearing pants, he's like, oh my God, why is my daughter wearing this? Don't she know she a princess? Hey, y'all bro, y'all brother. You understand that, sis? So you got the flyer, right? You say you had to go somewhere? The number is on the back. Give us a call. Repent, sis, because the time of the Lord is coming. And when he come, he coming with fire. He come and bring a death. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the Israelites. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how we men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.